for today. Passing on first down and sacked on first down. Good pressure immediately, and it, Reagan Upshaw getting in to make the first. They started off with the third down, they didn't make Starting from their 12-yard line, they started on their nine, their first offensive series. Olstadt gets five, maybe six on this carry. Our game, second and three, Tampa Bay. Olstadt again, and with help from the block by Neal, may have the first down. And... Yes, it is moving the chains. First down, Tampa Bay, their first first down of the four-yard line. All start again. Plows his way. Tilling that soil out to the 30-yard line. For Jacksonville, that's what they have to fear. 19 yards already for all stop. And they go to him again. And this time the ball comes loose. All stop was stripped right at the line of scrimmage. And the scrum to see who comes up with it, Jacksonville. 8.39 to go in the first. No score. And they go with a big pullback, Shelton. Set back. Three wide receivers. Brunel connects first down and breaking into Jimmy Smith to the five-yard line. That's the route that Mark Brunel talked about, about beating cover two, attacking the linebackers underneath, spreading them out, and running a speed in. And from the six of Tampa Bay, Taylor cuts it back. Taylor, touchdown. Fred Taylor, the rookie from Florida, is on top, you seven can, to nothing. You can ill afford to turn the ball over on the road. It turns into points. Down in the eye behind Allstadt. Again, Moore makes a strong side right. And they give it to Warwick Dunn. Dunn, the speedster, shakes tackles and gets all the way out to the 44 yard line. Warwick Dunn. How you have to defend it. Second and a long eight for Tampa Bay. This is Allstadt. Allstadt covering up the ball that time for sure and gets close to the first down yardage. And there's the Rhino. You go Rhino flee, Rhino flee, and then there's the Rhino. And they, they're doing what they want to do. They, of course, gave up the fumble. Dilford died. That just went to 10. And he has the first down. That's 10 that's rushes now. And, and that's what we talked about. That's that's really Tampa Bay Bucks first strength. Tampa. Also, Dilford talked about. You need to make these. Four from the pocket. Shakes off a tackler. Downfield, and it's complete. Wait, look, Tom Coughlin's on the sidelines yelling at the official saying he was they over, the line. over the line. Yeah, Carl Williams made the grab a 26-yarder. I was, was legal. Now yeah, look. Good awareness of where the line of scrimmage was. He pulls up there, yep. and he's just shy of the line of scrimmage. Good awareness by Dilfer. But great awareness by Carl Williams here. He stays alive. He sees that his quarterback's in trouble. He tries to find a way to get open, and then he makes an excellent catch. Boy, that was an egg done in the backfield. To the corner, incomplete, intended for Bert Emanuel. Get it done. He's got to get it done. Michael Houston attempting a 34-yard field goal. He's 11 of 14 on the year. And he has that. So the Buccaneers on the board. 1-11 remaining first quarter here in Jacksonville. The Jaguars 7, the Buccaneers 3. Down and 7 for the Jaguars. One setback. Slot formation to the right. And they give it to Taylor on the draw play. Taylor, that first to speed, has a first down to the 35-yard line. Keeping for consistency through the game. And he has had the kind of running attack he's wanted. Trailing 73 here. Starting the second quarter. That is Mitchell complete for about a six-yard pickup. For here for the Jaguars, leading 7-3 over the Bucks. Give it to Taylor. Fred Taylor. As a first down, and then some. Oh, he's got a great attitude, and it's infectious. It, he's a leader on that team. Third and seven. Brunel perfectly thrown to the tight end. That is Mitchell, and Mitchell gets down to the 26-yard line. The three wide receivers set and left the middle of the field open. First down, Jaguars coming to the left side this time, and that's complete to Jimmy Smith. Right at the sideline. A pickup of 
close to first down yardage. And Warren Sapp right there took a, Black little, down. A, a little shot there. First down, Jaguars inside the 10. The paint to the tight end, Mitchell. And Mitchell out at the two-yard line. Jaguars threatening again. Mincy knocked him out. First, long count by Brunel. Taylor trying to get wide, and he's in. Touchdown. After, and Jacksonville opens their lead to 14 to 3 here early in the second quarter at All Pell Stadium in Jacksonville. That's a good one. Second and 11. Screen pass to All Scott. All Scott. With a little help from his own man, giving him a shot from behind, picked up a few more. It was Middleton who hit him in the back and drove him forward. So it turns into about a six-yard pickup. They're off to another quick start here. Crowd alive here, exerting their defense. Joker. Warwick Dunn out of the backfield. First down, Bucks to the 38-yard line. Pass out, nicely timed, first down, no, short of the first down. Jacquez Green makes the catch. To rush more than five players. Second and two, Warwick Dunn has the first down, spins his way for a few more and into Jacksonville territory. And they took uh, 536 off on their drive that led to the Houston field goal. Double tight end formation. Joker going deep, he's got a man open, nice catch by Anthony, Riddell Anthony fights to the end zone, touchdown! Great play calling, you grind it out, you have the Rhino package, you have Neil come in, then you get all start, and you're done, and then you're, you have the two tight end set. The... And so it is 14 to 10, Jaguars with a pair of touchdowns by Taylor, and then his old buddy Riddell Anthony replies for the bucks. That one slips right off his head. So brings up the punting situation. Again, another near block. That's twice now. The last two. Barker got it off, and it's Green. Green picking his way almost to midfield. Good return for Jacquez Green. Concussion when he couldn't find his way to the huddle. After hitting the ground down in Tampa Bay. That's Warwick Dunn squirting out. And Dunn showing that power that has amazed Tony Dungy for a little guy as a first down to the 39. Walker 5 of 12. Go to the run. Warwick Dunn cuts it outside. Warwick Dunn, one man to beat. Can't get by him. He's pushed out by Dave Thomas. And that's Mercury Moore. Down by 4, 148 to go first half. Yeah. Riddell Anthony in motion behind the ball. Warwick Dunn straight ahead, what a burst! And he may have a first down at the five, depending on the spot. Pitch here, second and short, 132 to go. Allstock batters his way down close to the one-yard line. Now, if he was a rhino, a true rhino, he'd have a horn there that would help him clear the way. Bucks have been able to do what they wanted to do, and they've got a chance to take the lead as well. Watch the tight end slip out here. Down. Good call there by Bill Moss, John Davis. The third year tight end from Emporia State. And the visiting Tampa Bay Buccaneers lead 17 to 14. An area the Bucks have, uh, I'm sorry, the uh, Jaguars have really struggled with their coverage. That's an area they wanted to, to bolster. Take a look at the first half stat numbers. And that's, that's the key right there. For the consistency, that's what he's been talking about. Through a game, and through a series of games, something they've been unable to achieve so far this season. And Warwick Dunn, who went to the locker room a little bit early after his knee was a, appeared to be twisted down near the Jaguars goal line. Five yards in this game, second down and four. And he's got running room with a good hole off tackle. First down, Buccaneers to the 33-yard line. Kevin Hardy, the linebacker, and Travis Davies, Davis, the safety, makes a stop. You know, second and 11, two tight ends in Allstott, and they pass it out the right side. That's complete to Emmanuel. That's his first. It's 
Wilker has time, and that is picked hey. up. Short, short. Kevin Hardy, a linebacker, picks it off for the Jaguars and returns it to the 34-yard line of Tampa Bay. A flag down that'll be declined, holding against the Bucks. Intended for Moore, the tight end, and Hardy gets the pick. They fake the flanker around and throw the screen for Taylor. Taylor inside the 20. You throw in the inside, especially when you got man to man, Bill, it's very tough to thread the needle. Brunel starts to take off. Ducks under a tackler and gets inside the 15, eluding Derek Brooks. Kind of head, neck, and back. He is in action here and comes up with a big play. Brunel forced to just throw that one away. Good charge from Brooks here in Jacksonville on the road. Hollis will attempt a 31 yard field goal. It is good. So we're tied at 17, early in the third. And it's been their ground control offense taking time off the clock that has them tied here at 17. All Scott again, they were lucky to not give up more than the field goal after the interception. Five receivers, and Ellison Malone running back. Gilfer on third is... Ellison, who just got into the game for the first time today, that missed his block. Bryce Pop just leaped right over the block of Ellison. Barnhart standing at his goal line, hits it from the five. Reggie Barlow waiting for it at the 45-yard line and steps out at the 49 of Jacksonville, a 41-yard putt, a four-yard return, good field position. V, and you got an IV. So cramps the problem apparently Brunel on first down that's complete to Jimmy Smith and a first down at the 40 of the Bucks. let's go to James Brown for an NFL update second and 10 inside the 40 of Tampa Bay we're still tied at 17 that is Jimmy Smith takes one tackler and may have another first down they'll be close here with the spot on first down Taylor lost Tampa about Bay. two. Tampa. A lot of Louie Louie going on. And Brunella sacked. And that was Barber. The nickelback blitzing Rondé Barber. Second sack by Tampa Bay. Third and very long. Screen pass to Taylor. Taylor exploded. Taylor inside the 15 with the first down. 30-yard pickup. They needed 26, and they got the first down. Taylor again takes a hit at the 10. It gets to about the 8. One and five. Long four. And pressure on Brunel again. 47. Hard. Good job again. 47, Lynch. And he does. His second field goal of the game gives the hometowners a 20-17 to 17 lead. Here in Jacksonville, 31 seconds left in the third quarter. In the lead back position, they give it to Dunn. Dunn off tackle left and Dunn close to the first down. Not showing any ill effects of uh, both what appeared to be a twisted knee and what we know to be a sprained uh, ankle or at least a sore ankle. Third down. Two. That's complete. A flag is downfield. Riddell Anthony. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Anthony just he's, tripped up, keeps his balance, and he's in the end zone. Will it hold up? It's a Tampa Bay touchdown for the moment. 79 that's, yards. That's Tampa touchdown. Tampa touchdown. Every time you want to sit back and try to gamble just a little bit, right here you gamble, you play man on man. Anthony beats Beasley on the inside move, and that's a big play in this game. Second touchdown of the season of the uh, game for Anthony. That's that's their longest play of the year. And for Riddell Anthony, two catches, 126 yards, both of them going for touchdowns. And of course, his career long, the second year man out of Florida, but Ike Hilliard gave him such an explosive offense.
in the air, and then they had Fred Taylor as their running back. Not a bad outfit. Steve right here, you can see how he beats him by giving him an outside move and then working back underneath Beasley. And Bill, we talked about this to Dick Jerron, the defensive coordinator. And he says, you know, I really don't want to put my guys in that position. Because he said, one reason he said is because the man to man coverage, especially Beasley, he doesn't use his hands well on the jam. Like it hit a buck. That hit a buck first. Absolutely. It looked, looked like it hit a, a buck. Yeah, yeah. Late lead to Jimmy Smith. Now, did, was it caught by Sapp after that? We got a right. And, and Coughlin had it right. He said it should have been an incomplete pass. Taylor gets it up to the 29-yard line. Four. Brunel, sideline. That's complete to Jimmy Smith. And depending on the spot, it'll be again close to another first down. And forward progress will give it to him. Second and inches. Taylor. Taylor has the first down to the 42-yard line, squeezing his way out the right side. Mincy came up from the safety to put the stop on him. And these Jaguars are unbeaten at home this season. In fact, they've won 19 of their last 21 here at Altel. Brunel is sacked. And, 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 and again, I'm going to go back and say, maybe that injury, the groin injury to Brunel, is a little bit more than either he or anyone else wants to admit. Back to you. And good coverage downfield we should give them as well. And second and 16. That's complete. Mitchell battles his way up to the 45, and the crowd gives him applause for that effort. I do too. Short. Heck, I do too. I and now from the shotgun, they show blitz. Just gets it away. And he's got a man open. McCardell, first down. Great, great play by Mark Brunel. First down, Jaguars. Taylor drives hard and picks up close to five. You talk about a gutsy guy, a, a team guy, a leader. You talk about leadership. You talk about fourth quarter comebacks, Tim. You talk about Mark Brunel. By McCardell, big play receiver. And that's complete. That, that's complete. Damon Jones, first down. That, that was By Jimmy Smith. 544 taken off the clock. We're down to 422 to play. Brunel flushed and takes off. He's gonna run it. Trying to get to the end zone. Touchdown. Mark Brunel with a flag down. A flag on the play, but what an effort by Mark Brunel. And Boselli, Boselli Hill. 71 offense. 10 yard penalty. No, that's his so second down. That's his closest friend on this team, and they provide the leadership. Yes. Nice catch. Play yet. Short drop. Gets time. Too high. Intended for Jimmy Smith. Incomplete. The four-yard field goal. And he nails that. Hollis with his third field goal of the game draws the Jaguars to within one. 327 to play. Crowd into this situation. Gilfer has time, now he's flushed, looking for an open man, comes back, throws it out what of bounds. in the heck? Jacques Green and Dave Moore both over on that side. Grinnell, 22 of 37, three wide receivers. Inside handoff to Taylor. Away from Mincy down the sideline. One last shot at him. He dances in. Touchdown. He change in this thriller. Taylor. Fumble. Loose ball. And they are stopped. So a five-point lead for Jacksonville. 240 remaining for the Buccaneers to try to pull it out. Start. The play's going to start this way and cut back this way. Watch him cut it back. I'm going to tell you, I, I, I believe they missed the call here. It looked to me as if Tony Paselli had a false start. Uh, I want you to take a look at 71. Watch him right here. I think he moves before anybody else moves.
That was close. But John Lynch has played well all day, Bill, and that was his gap. We talked about it opening up the big gap, which you talked about the lineman being able to rush up the field, but John Lynch had a big gap, and that's one, the one that he had to fill. Well, you talked about that running game and where it's been, and they didn't have many numbers. Has some time. Is that complete? Good catch. Yes, a dandy by Dave Moore. Stretching out to grab that. Pick up of eight. Dilford dropped at the 35. A loss of a couple. Short drop, Dilford. Incomplete. He's one of five since the last one. Intercepted. Aaron Beasley. Three remaining and the football in Bucks territory. Taylor again. And Taylor with a second that effort. Him. That hurt him. That's the territory inside the 30-yard line. Everybody up on the line to try and stop this, but it will be, by all appearances, a Jacksonville first down. So the clock winds down, and the Jacksonville Jaguars coming from behind late in the game move to 8-2 and two atop the Central Division in the American Conference. And the Tampa Bay Buccaneers fail to win on the road again. They're 0-5, and they go to 4-6 and six on the season. So for Bill Maz and Ronnie Lott, this is Tim Ryan saying so long from Jacksonville and sending it to Pat Summerall and John Madden.